All right, back in the basement again today. No face in this video. You're welcome. I wanted to talk about these Pepin HD series adjustable dumbbells that have been living on my rack for quite some time. They don't get a lot of play here in the basement just because I do have a full fixed set of dumbbells. I also did have the Pepin Fast Series, which I should be getting the newer series in at some point. But that being said, these are still an option for some people. Now, if you're not familiar with David Pepin or Pepin as a business, let me give you some quick background. Based out of Canada, small shop, very high attention to detail. Now, I preface by saying that because when we talk about pricing on these, they are more expensive than some of the other options out there like Iron Master or no-name brands that you can find. A lot of this stuff is going to be higher end. You'll find the finishes are also higher end, but for some people that may or may not matter. So I just wanna give you that expectation going into it. Now for these, I wanna talk about a couple of things. These are the HD series, so they're compact and very durable. This is a normal handle that you will see. This one is 37 millimeters in diameter, which is a perfect dumbbell handle in my opinion. You can also see when it's unloaded like this, there's hardly any other room besides my hand I like this because that means when you're stacking on plates, it's going to be more compact. Oftentimes when we're talking about adjustable dumbbells, these things get bigger and bigger and bigger. This one is going to stay pretty good in that regard. Now that does mean, however, you can't fit stuff on here like microgreens plates, at least the typical clamp on ones because the plates we'll talk about in a second are metal. You could add magnets, but what you get in a normal set, if you were to buy a normal set, typically are going to include 10 pound plates, five pound plates, and two and a half pound plates. So you can make all the normal increments of five to 10 pound jumps. Now, speaking of this handle again, the knurling on it's very good. I will send you a close up picture of this. This is the nickel plated ones that I already stated. There's also a black Cerakote option, which is more expensive. To be honest, if you're going to get this personally, I like the nickel, you know, you're gonna get a little bit better feel. I think the look is a little bit cooler, even though the black is cool at first. I feel like it shows wear more, especially with like dead skin and you'll be gripping this a lot. So I just like the look of the nickel personally, but you do you, if you're going to spend this much money on something, it might make sense. On the inside of the handle, you do have this small piece of like, I would say it's very similar to UHMW tape. It's a little bit thicker, but that's gonna give you some buffer between the plates and the handle itself. So it shouldn't scuff up the plates, which I'll talk about in a second. Inside it is threaded. It's only threaded, I would say probably about three quarters of an inch or so down. So it's not a fully threaded handle. I have seen some people, namely competitors, call this out as a fault. But to be honest, I've never had an issue with this and dropping or anything like that. One of the benefits of going the adjustable dumbbell route in this sense, where things are screwed in, it's all metal, there's no plastic, there's hardly any pieces, right? You have the actual screws, you have the handle, you have the plates, there's not much that can potentially break. And again, this big beefy handle is not going to bend or anything like that. And even if you did have an issue, which I don't think you will, Pepin offers fantastic warranty services on all of their stuff. And I've seen them actually go back and replace people's dumbbells and handles that were bought secondhand and were an older generation. And he just said, let me get you the new ones instead. So he really does a great job as far as that's uh, regarded. Now, again, because these are what I would consider more of your classic adjustables, meaning that they're screw based, there's a couple of pros and cons about that. The pros already, I mentioned that they're more indestructible in most cases. Also because they're screw based, in this case, a standard size, about a one inch, uh, diameter on these. You can buy plates through Pepin, which I'll talk about in a second, which are really nice, but you can also buy really cheap secondhand standard plates all over the place because most people do not use them because most people like to use a Olympic plate these days. So if you don't want to buy the nicer high-end plates from Pepin, you could probably find some really cheap plates secondhand for like 50 cents a pound and really load up and use your own weights on this. They do, however, now make an Olympic version of this. So if you wanted to use Olympic plates on this, you could. Again, main difference is just going to be the screw diameter and the diameter into the handles. Again, because these are 37 millimeters, it would be easier to get you know, that screw size in as needed. Uh, so that is a benefit of going this route. The downside is, is of course, just adjusting the plates. This is probably one of the longest time taking to do so, meaning that you have to actually get plates stack them up, then get the appropriate screw, which in this case is a benefit of having the Pepin style. And a lot of the screw adjustable ones, you have actually a male end on the handle and you then put the plate on and you could have a long thread, which you're then going to have to screw around and down to the base. In this case, it's almost as if the standard screw type 
handles had a baby with Iron Master because Iron Master uses a male end on this end. The Iron Masters are a little bit quicker, but in this case, they offer different screw sizes. So you can see some of the versions right here. We have, you know, a small, a medium, and a large, depending on how heavy you're gonna load these. But that's going to cut down on the time that it actually takes to screw these in. So like a single plate, for instance, you have to go about two inches or so down, and it's pretty quick, right? Now, obviously, as you get longer and more plates on here, you can use some of the longer handles, in which case, again, it's not completely threaded through. And depending on where the actual plates are stacked to, you might only have to go down an inch or so to get these tight. Now on these actual screw tops, you'll see on the inside, they have that same UHMW. So again, it's going to get a nice tight fit. You shouldn't get any rattling with these. However, again, a downside of just this type of dumbbell is over time and drops, these screws will loosen some because they're only really hand tight. If you tighten them with a machine, they might not ever come off, but hand tight. While you can still get these extremely tight where they're not going to move over time, they likely will. So you'll have to either readjust them or completely redo them. Now, again, that's just kind of one of the things that goes along with this. But the fact that it has multiple screw handles, depending on how heavy you're going to go, can be super beneficial. Now, getting to the plates themselves, like I said, I have a 10, five, and two and a half here. Uh, and on these, it's clearly marked. Hopefully you can see that and it will focus 10 pounds. They have a DP logo right here. And again, overall, really nice plates. These are powder coated, I will say. Depending on how well you treat these, these can get banged up. I'll try to show some B-roll, but there are a couple of scuffs here and there just because I keep this on a shelf with a metal lip and it's kind of heavy up. So sometimes I do bang them when pulling out, if you will. Um, but generally they are in good shape. These plates are machined plates for accuracy. So these aren't not just some cheap cast iron plates. With cheap cast iron, you typically get some variance in how much they weigh. I found all these weighed really kind of within specs. One was like 0.1 pounds over here and there, but generally speaking, they're all right in line with what they should be weighing. That also means you have a lot of really smooth, even surfaces where you're not going to have issues with the center hub being maybe too big or too small with some variances there. Everything fits just how it should perfectly because he spends the extra money to machine them, which is then turned to you on the cost. So again, another reason that these are more expensive is these are all, like I said, machine plates, but you do get a very nice looking and well-functioning plate. If you don't like it, you can always just buy your own, as I stated, as this version takes standard plates only. Now, one of the things that I was not a big fan of in this is how the weights actually work on the handle. Because for instance, when you're loading plates, they're all in even increments of five, 10, two and a half pounds. So it's very easy to, let's say, put on 80 pounds. You just put four tens per side, right? Well, you have to account for the weight of number one, the handle, but also the screws that you're using. So obviously if you're using a screw that's on the smaller end, it's not going to weigh the same as a screw that's on the larger end. So there is some variance. Now the package that I have, I think is advertised as being 90 pounds, which would be four tens per side, a five and a two and a half. And it fits on there, but with the handle itself and with the two longer screws attached to it, I actually get a weight of about 104 pounds. So it's about eight to nine pounds worth of handles in that regard. So that is something to consider that even though you load up what you might consider to be 90 pounds, it's actually quite a bit heavier based off of how much everything weighs, which can kind of get annoying if you're a real stickler for the weight increments and whatnot. But I think the benefit is of if you load up what you think the weight is, it's going to be a couple of pounds heavier. So in theory, you're actually stronger than you might have thought. But all things being said, again, with these plates and these handles, the way they're constructed, I do find it's a super compact design, which I like. I mentioned that first to start the video. Most of these adjustables tend to be very big and bulky. These really remind me of like the Pro Series dumbbells that you might find in some gyms, like the Ivanko style gyms and dumbbells, because they're very compact, they're rounded plates. Obviously these ones are screwed together and adjustable. You do have to factor that into the time to change weights out but it's not too big of a pain. They actually sell a table that goes with this if you're willing to spend a few extra hundred bucks, which has a cutout for the actual screws to sit in. So it's easier to kind of screw them out as you have some leverage. Otherwise they suggest actually changing them on the floor and basically rolling the weights, which I'll show you some B-roll of. It's not tremendously difficult. It doesn't take a ton of time, but in a world where everyone's impatient, it does take longer than some of the other adjustables on the market. 
The trade-off here is though, again, you get all the benefits of some of the adjustables, but you also get the benefit of having a really small compact design. And I'll show you in comparison what one of the heavy dumbbells look like here compared to my fixed urethane dumbbells, which are also very compact. So end of the day, these are a high-end option if you're looking for it. The price on these, I think American, if you're looking to get them delivered to your door, if I were just to go check out now, I think it runs about $1,200. On the flip side, you get something like Iron Master, which is a little bit quicker to adjust. The plates aren't necessarily as nice. The handles aren't as nice, but it has just as good of reliability it's probably gonna cost you more like $800 to $700 even. So you're saving like four to 500 bucks. So depending on what you're looking for, there are lots of options out there. This is a nice one, albeit pricey. Let me know what questions you have about these in the comment section below. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big.